No matter how hard you tried to figure this one out, it was the best kept secret ever. Who would design Kate Middleton's wedding gown when she stepped out in that beautiful, timeless lace floral dress created by Sarah Burton at Alexander McQueen? Everybody knew it was an instant classic and designers immediately tried to copy it. I think the reason that new brides across the country will want to wear this dress because it actually is a very forgiving dress. It's very elegant. I love how he says forgiving. Here with more about the winning gown is early show style contributor Katrina Zish. Great to have you with Good us, morning. Katrina. And it's really interesting because the feedback is pouring out over this dress. An AOL poll, 78% said the dress was classy and elegant and gorgeous. 15% said that it wasn't what they expected, but they did like it. And 7% said they did not like it. Mm -hmm. What well, did you think, Katrina? You will always have the dissenters in there, but 7% isn't that bad. I would say I'm with the 15%. I liked it, but it wasn't exactly what I expected. Sarah Burton at Alexander McQueen is known for her avant-garde designs. Just to put it in perspective, Sarah Burton regularly works with Lady Gaga. Mm. So I, you, we did, a lot of us expected something to be a little more over the top, a little more fashion forward, a little more extreme. But then again, Sarah Burton is also known for pairing the traditional with the modern for her impeccable tailoring, and we did see that here. So a big departure from what you might find on Lady Gaga, but still the yes. same designer. Talk about some of the embellishments, because you have lace, you have the earrings, you have the hair, you have the tiara. Absolutely. Well, first, let's talk a little bit about that lace. The lace was spectacular. It was handmade applique lace made by the Royal School of Needlework, mm. hand done. They actually had to wash their hands every 30 minutes to oh keep goodness. it clean. The needles were changed every three hours to keep them sharp. Here you can see some of that lace applique. It was French Chantilly lace and English lace. It included rose, thistle, daffodil, and shamrock designs. So this was one of those dresses, every little detail counted. Here, this halo tiara from 1936, borrowed from the queen. It was a Cartier vintage piece that looked beautiful with her ivory tulle veil. And that V neckline also, again, in the lace top, really looked perfect on Kate. Absolutely gorgeous. And something that a lot of people said the minute they saw it, and I thought this too, Grace Kelly. Yes. It looks like Grace Kelly in the Monaco wedding from 1956. Absolutely. That was one of the first things that I thought here we're seeing Grace Kelly. You can see the similarities with the long lace sleeves, even with the sweetheart neckline um, and sort of the really cinched in waist detailing. Very, very similar. Uh, Princess Grace's uh, dress was actually made by a Hollywood costume designer, hmm. Helen Rose. But the similarities are remarkable. Again, a timeless dress, but Grace Kelly's was one of the most copied wedding dresses of all time. That's an interesting point. Sure. And you know fashion, Katrina, and you know things just blow up. The second you see a celebrity, or now in this yes. case, Kate Middleton wearing something like this, is this the kind of dress that you're going to see everywhere in the new wedding seasons? I don't think we're going to see direct knockoffs. The American bride still wants her sexy strapless gown. A lot of American brides don't want the long sleeves. I think we will be seeing a lot of lace detailing. I think we will be seeing some similarities with the skirt, with the lace applique, with the 10-foot train. I think we will be seeing lots of resonances there. So what you're saying is basically the trends in the coming season are lace and what else? I would say lace, I would say perhaps even ivory instead of white. I think definitely we're going to see lots of fitted bodices, kind of the Victorian corsetry style. Kate actually even had a little bit of padding at her hips, which okay. I thought was a little bit interesting to really accentuate that style again. That was a Sarah Burton touch. On the flip side of that, you have Pippa in this just incredibly fabulous but totally fitted dress. Yes. Oh. You don't see a lot of that in the United you, you States, don't. by and, the way. And I know. I think men uh, around the world are saying, hello, Pippa. I heard <laughs> a lot of that going on yesterday. She looked stunning, and I do think the white was appropriate. It I mean, even with all of the little bridesmaids, the white really just went with the palette. It was flawless. I don't think she upstaged Kate at all. Also, she was wearing Sarah Burton, and I think it was just the perfect choice. Was this sort of Pippa's coming out party? I mean, to the world? Apparently it was. I think everybody wants another introduction to Pippa. She's been named, <laughs> I believe, uh, England's most eligible bachelorette. Well, there you so have we'll it. See and the dress, the dress does it for her. Absolutely. Oh, it sure does. Katrina Zish, thanks so much. We Thank appreciate you. it.